the tape measure. Unchanged for millennia, <laughs> decades. All of your parents have that crusty machine rotting away somewhere. They suck. Okay, well, not really. But, but they, they do. do. The fear of cutting your finger off as the blade rapidly approaches. Them always getting an inverse <laughs> dysfunction. And I don't know how I always lose it. Wait, 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 wait. I guess it's because of its portable size and reasonable weight. What are you doing? What? You're supposed to be saying the bad things. We literally aren't improving any of those things. Wait, then what are we doing? I don't know. I put a massive motor in a tape measure. Or did I? Whoa, wait, wait, are you confused? Yeah, me too. Basically, I fidget with things. Like nothing within arms reaches safe from my wrath. So when a tape measure found its way onto my desk, I started to play with it. Then it hit me. What if whatever this thing is not an actual functional tool merged? So a motorized tape measure. Now I think that would be cool. Like shooting the tape wherever I point it. And, you know, measure things. Brought to you by JLCPCB. Here's today's specimen. The Common Harbor Freight Tape Measure. What? I need a tape. Originally I had this sad little spring. Anyways, how this- <laughs> that. Wow, thanks JLC. Now, I can't just hold the motor. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. And I have a few more parts that I need to shove in. And a handle. Anyways, I could 3D print this. But that's boring. See, plastic is so much more lame than Chad Metal. It wouldn't feel as nice, and the clubbability would be worse. Well, small issue. As we established last video, no tools. You know who does have a lot of tools? JLC PCB. Come, come, don't be shy. Let me introduce you. Need something important machined like an overpowered tape measure? Upload it here and get a free estimate. Need something more intricate like a, a cool dragon? 3D print it. In plastic or in stainless steel. Did you say PCB? I barely know. Yeah, what flavor do you want? They've got them all. Tastiest traces too. So next time you have a project, check out JLC. Oh yeah, here's $60 for new users. Thanks JLC. Ooh, what's this? <clears throat> Sorry, it just feels so nice. Anyways, all of this. Molten metal time. She has some on the floor. This is the only outlet in this room. <laughs> Let me breathe lead in peace. For legal reasons, that was a joke. I'm using lead-free solder, soldering in the world ventilated area. Avoid touching sensitive areas after soldering. Side effects may include literally dying. Funny story. I may or may not have bought the cheapest ESC I could find on AliExpress. But you see, I didn't think about the fact that it has to go out and, you know, back in. Anyways, I now have a bi-directional ESC. Let's break it down. No, no, you see, big motor is driven by this bi-directional ESC, and that's driven with this little trigger, which is actually just a potentiometer, but with a doodad. And that's being fed into an Arduino that I wrote a little code for. Oh, hell no, man. So that's generating a PWM signal that's going to this ESC, and all of this is powered by this tiny little battery that can dump 600 watts for some unholy reason. Oh, and if that's not enough, another one. Enough yapping, let's test it. You might be wondering how I got to this point. Skip, skip. Who do you think I am? Of course it didn't work the first time.
It was literally just the wrong pin this entire time. Why was the wiring diagram wrong? <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just literally a genius. It blew up. Like it literally caught fire. I don't know when I'm gonna actually learn to record every test, so all I have to show you is a nice crusty controller. Good thing this is the only one I have. This is kind of stupid. Of course it was going to stall. There's nothing stopping it. Why did I design it like this, you dumb? Why did I build this? What is my purpose? You know what? It doesn't matter. I make garbage work. It's literally all I do. Don't give up. You're all engineers. You will fail. It's what you do after that matters. Build your stupid ideas. Grow from your silly projects. Who knows? One of them might just be the next big thing. Sorry, I got sick. Where, where was I? Guys, I think I solved the problem. More power! Look, I may have stolen it from a little RC car I have. I gotta work with what I got. It was at this moment that he knew. He f Well, some ideas are just about the friends we made along the way. Okay, okay, fine, I'll give you some closure. Hypothetically, if there was a V2, there won't be. I'd get rid of this whole drum and put like two wheels in the front, like those Nerf guns. Cause I didn't realize the tape would want to unspool. Now, the motor. See, I got the biggest brushless motor my zero dollar budget would allow for, and I just thought brushless motors had a crazy amount of torque. See, the brushless motor would be great if it was geared down. If I gave it like a 5 to 1 gear ratio, it'd have a great amount of torque, and the speed would probably be perfect. The Arduino running the ESC was great. Here's the code I ended up running if you really care. And it would all fit with this ESC, which probably wouldn't have blown up if I actually designed this better. But you see, that's why you build your stupid ideas. Now I know. I know a lot more about brushless motors, and I'll probably have to gear it down. I know I need to build systems that don't require the motor to be powered to hold the stable state. And just don't design things at 2am. Get a load of this guy. Well, I hope you were entertained just a little bit by my failure. Thanks for watching. Bye!